situation. Hi, summer's coming and now's the time to learn self-sufficiency. If you're going to eat from nature's bounty of wild edible plants, remember, there's a learning curve. Experience is the best teacher, but that means time. To speed it up, you'll need to build on the wisdom of a teacher who has lived it. Author Linda Runyon is that teacher. Her wild food knowledge package is the crash course. The DVD gives you a three-hour overview of her world directly from her. The book gives you an in-depth reference with all of the insider know-how you'll ever need. And her wild cards are your portable summary and cheat sheet for your field work. This three-pronged learning system will take you from spectator to scholar to gourmet survivalist in weeks, not years. Folks, I can vouch that Linda's the real deal. She's my mom, and I watched her do it. So go to upthefield.com or call 888-51-EAT-FREE. Start now. Knowledge is power. Better take action. I think a storm's coming. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah. fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement of personality cultists who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascism. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. The New World Order Beast is genetically modifying your food, mixing vegetables with animals, and now experimenting with viruses. Without a long-term long food solution, you will have just two options. Starve surrender. or surrender. surrender. All, canned food All canned food supplies will eventually run out. What then? Then... Grow your own healthy food and feed your family forever. SurvivalistSeeds.com is now the nation's largest bulk heirloom seed company. And it's owned by a real patriot, Big John Lipscomb. You can now, you can have, now have an infinite amount of healthy vegetables like a watermelon, a bundle of carrots, or tomatoes for a little more than a penny each. SurvivalistSeeds.com. And now you can go into business with Big John at SurvivalistSeeds.com by becoming an affiliate. See his link at SurvivalistSeeds.com. Okay, um, we're not going to get into too many more details about Haley, but we may, with the cameras off, if we're live at PrisonPlanet.tv, have her in here with a letter just to, on record here from the eyewitness that they told her, you're going to get in trouble if you don't tell us what your mommy did. And they said, your mommy did that, Bruce. Your mommy did that, Bruce. And they may be coming to arrest uh, Janet Sanchez. Uh, we've got her fiancé here, uh, Joe. Uh you guys have got the floor. Tell folks what it's been like going through this, um, and we're going to try to give the numbers out to this county. Again, I can't help everybody, but this is happening in my own backyard. I'm asking folks for help. This is also an educational thing on air of how folks can counter this. Go ahead, Janet. Okay. It's just been really emotional um, because my daughter feels like it's her fault that all this has happened. Yeah. And I think it's crazy. It's ridiculous. She had one bruise. Um, I took pictures, they took pictures yesterday and I saw the bruise and there's one bruise. I don't. Now you took pictures last night. To be clear, they first interrogated her Monday. Monday. Had police there yesterday. Yeah. You my... took a photo. Yeah. And they took pictures yesterday and had her pull her pants down yesterday. And, um, so that was two days that they. Since when do men her... get to strip search little girls? I mean, this country is just really going to hell. I don't know if the, I think she told me both of them. Male cops were out of the office, but the CPS lady and the nurse and counselor were in. Yeah, well, it wasn't clear, but she said the cops ordered her. They said they said they that, told her that she needed yeah, to she, take her her pants off, or she would and be in trouble. Made her she asked them to close the mini blinds because she felt that uncomfortable. My God! And then and then they told her to. She said twice. They said, "Tell the truth. Your mother did that." Yeah. Unbelievable. She, she tried to tell them, you know, uh, I don't know. I want to remove my pants now. 
But they told her, hey, if you don't take your pants off, you're going to be in trouble. So they, she had to do what they told her. It's terrorism. They forced her to do something, and that right there does not make me happy or her happy, and it's very stressful right now. Um, Janet, well, then, uh, Janet, what happened yesterday when I, I said, do what you want, but this is what I would do. This is what the law, you know, rec and later I gave you lawyer printouts where that's what they recommend. You know, I said, why don't you meet her at a gas station? And then I said, but, but drive through because there's probably going to be a cop there. Tell right. folks what you saw. Uh, there was a unmarked car, looked like, and another a lady sitting in the car. So I'm assuming those were the people I was meeting because they weren't parked in front of the gas station as if they were getting off or anything. And you said she was the the the, the cop guy was out and had like something. Yeah, I on saw the, something black on the side of his pocket, so I assume maybe it was. A but you weren't looking too close. I told you, don't look, don't look yeah, down there. Yeah, <laughs> you were like, don't look. They're gonna see you suspicious or something. So I just. I just drove through, and like not even a minute or two later, she called. She asked where I was. I told her I was just pulling out of the. I mean, I didn't. Well, I confirmed that was her. Yeah. I, 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 I called her this her morning. I mean, I wasn't I, able to meet her, but I mean, that was her there because I called her this morning. I said we saw you and your friend there at the gas station. She said, "Oh, you did," and I was like, "Yeah." So she said she was at the gas station. Where was I? And I told her I'm not going to meet you. I'm sorry. And then she threatened you. Uh, she said, I'm going to have to call the police if you don't come meet Yeah, me. she's like, I'll just inform them that you're uncooperative. I was like, well, I can meet with you tomorrow. So I made arrangements. Yeah, you've got to meet when they want. I mean, it's like when they come to your door, you go, no, you don't have a warrant. This is my house. Get out of here, you little scumbag. You're just here to get money. I mean, folks, my children have bruises all over them year-round. They, they're, they're always playing. They have a treehouse. I mean, when they're in, they're in gymnastics, swimming, uh, soccer, basketball, I mean, you know, uh, my son's had his lip busted by the basketball hitting him. Will I lose him because the YMCA basketball? When they play soccer, they get bruises. I mean, right. is soccer right. illegal? I mean, correct. It's 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 very very frustrating over here in our end. Uh, I've had this happen before. Counselors giving me a call that my son has bruises on their legs. It's 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 where they just take advantage of the children, and that really is is. It's, it's wrong. But, Joe, that's bad enough for him to call you and, and be secret police. They called the cops and strip searched her yeah. and took photos and are now running around with cops after you. Right. And this all, I mean, if they were that concerned, they would have made arrangements for me to be there Tuesday because all this happened Monday. No, no, they don't want you to know. Yeah. So they, they do this in secret. questioned her two days without my knowledge. I mean, I asked her why she didn't tell me. She said she was scared, so I don't know what they told her. Like, don't well, I talked to her. They told her not to talk to you. I remember that was in the conversation. So, Stay right there. We'll be back in 70 seconds fighting the child kidnappers. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. I've told you for a long time it's important to be self-sufficient, and today that's more important than ever. We need to be independent, and food and water is the key. You'll never have to stand in a bread line if you have your own bread. You'll never have to go to the Superdome and beg for FEMA to take care of your family in any emergency if you simply prepare. No one is going to take care of your family in the final equation but you. You know eFoodsDirect.com is still able to ship storable food that's safe from E. coli, salmonella, genetic alteration, or Chinese imports, and they do it at almost half the cost of last year's grocery prices. Call 1-800-409-5633 or on the web go to eFoodsDirect.com. Visit eFoodsDirect.com and look over the fine list of high quality, freeze-dried, and dehydrated foods they have to offer. Watch the free videos, look at their online catalog, or give them a call at 1-800-409-5633. Again, 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Take action today. The first step is getting storable food. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We got a lawyer coming on in 15 minutes, one of the ones recommended by uh, some of the parent rights and uh, homeschool defense groups because they really harass homeschoolers. They've even had to pass a lot of state laws. Texas has had to pass state laws decrying CPS and the whole system because it came out that the entire uh, youth commission operation was at every facility raping with children. That, that's the Texas Youth Commission, and I have the new laws here written to counter that. 
I mean, this is getting serious, folks. I mean, this is this. And you heard the CPS worker earlier, you know, admitting that there's all these criminals involved in it. Uh, OK, so we're talking uh, to Joe and Janet. We're talking about uh, Haley, your daughter. I mean, I I wanted the truth. Plus, spanking's not illegal. Uh, but I know when I look at a bruise and it's that big on her thigh, that wasn't even.